Fall at the P.O. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Scorpio for the first half of May? <laughs> Are you guys in this place of reflection? Just kind of looking over your life and looking over how things have gone and how much you've grown. And uh, just really just being appreciative uh, of, the, of the self, for the self. Even if no one is willing to be, you know, your star player. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. This is your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time to my channel. Look out. I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you guys without cussing. Because me, I'm going to do that. Okay? Um, you guys, this is um, not a personal reading. It is a general. If you need a personal reading, I currently have a reading special going on. I'm going to ultimately extend it to the 7th. But I put it up there for the 6th. But you guys know how it rocks. I'm going to try and get everybody in. So as long as you get your um, email in um, by the 6th at 12 a.m., Central, even if you don't get the dang on reading until the 8th, just get your email in, okay? And um, definitely make your payments. But I have a $10, 10 minute, uh, one, uh, one question, one answer. I have a $25, 15 minute, two question, two answer, as well as a, a 30 minute special uh, for $50, okay? Up until the 7th of May. All right, so if you need a personal, get that information. Get that, Go ahead and look down below and get that information on how to contact me and um, as well as uh, schedule your readings, all right? You guys, this will be for the Summer Rather Venus as well as the Cross Watchers for the final squad, if y'all, um, to the new subscribers, or to the family, y'all. We're really dysfunctional. We don't fight a fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. We grow, we love, we enlighten, we share, we evolve, poly vibes only, okay? So, you guys, welcome to the family. To the return of subscribers, family, what's popping? What's going down? My eyes don't lean right now. I know y'all see me kind of lean, but it's kind of like getting the light. Guys, I got some allergenic things going on. It itches. <laughs> it's watery. <laughs> so, please, excuse my eye. All right? Don't let that distract you because you know y'all ass is extremely observative. So excuse me, I y'all. Pray for me. Alright. Also, um, oh, the likes to share the subscribe the comments. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I truly, truly do. Um, but you guys we're gonna kick off with these intuitive messages and let's rock. For the sign of Scorpio, Summer Rising Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers, um, you guys take what res uh, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it does, if the shoe damn don't fit, don't try to make that motherfucker fit. It's not gonna work for you. Cheesh. Let's rock. So for my Scorpions for the month of May, the intuitive messages that I received for you all was <coughs> ego death, pride, unconditional love. Fulfillment, momentum, legalities, faith, karmic endings, family, inheritance, fear of rejection. I just don't know how. New opportunities, collaboration, travel, moving, synchronicity, walking away, remorseful, tit for tat, control issues. Manipulation, new contract, dreams, synchronicity, past life, school. Okay? So if those intuitive messages definitely resonated, then this message is for you. Okay, we're doing things a bit differently this month. So instead of me giving the oracle messages, I'm going to give the spirit message as well as the angel message all in one. Okay? So a lot of you all may be, um, the overall energy for the reading was the Ten of Diamonds. A lot of you all may be in a space of releasing uh, anything, any place, any circumstance that is going to stress your life out. Anything that does not bring you peace, understanding, growth, as well as some sort of financial gain, Scorpio is just not with the shits in the month of May. Okay? Your first message um, from the Divine comes from Archangel Ragio. You guys got Divine Order. Okay? So it says, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. Uh, what I'll get from this card, for some of you all, there's a, there's a need for you guys to really, really practice on um, 
having an active throat chakra during this time. Speak your damn truth. Speak up for yourself. Speak your beliefs. Speak what it is. Do not speak your damn business and how you want to move as far as your endeavors to anybody. You're not in that energy. When you have plutonic energy in retrograde as well as Saturn, it, it's about what the hell have you done thus far? What seeds have you grown? Okay? How are you willing to grow? How are you willing to expand? What has not worked for you? What You can't keep doing the same shit expecting a different result. Is you crazy or insane? Which one? Okay, so a lot of you all, um, there is a sense of you dealing with any type of court issues, legalities, any type of, um, I'm hearing assets, I'm also hearing property, and for some of you all, I'm hearing deeds. Some of you all may be also trying to rent out a space to um, uh, run some type of business. I definitely see, for, for those of you where, uh, who, whoever is trying to rent, rent this space, maybe you want to be by some sort of water or somebody of water, and it's something about... Um, it's something about it bringing you balance and some type of centering, okay? So maybe you want to look by a body, body of water. Whomever I'm speaking to about these deeds as well as the uh, legalities, seek legal, legal help. Your ass don't know everything. Quit being so dang on prideful and ask for help because it's okay to admit that you don't know something. It's ignorant to stay in the, in, in, in the none of the none, okay, in not knowing. Some of you are... Um, some of y'all uh, need to know that you do have angelic assistance during this time. Some of y'all may be randomly having, like, itches on your nose. Something about um, one of you guys' ancestors or, um, and this could even be happening to your children. Somebody playing with somebody knows. <laughs> you find your children itching their nose and say, it just tickles. Mama, it just tickles. I'm hearing it just tickles. Mama's, um, you recently lost, I'm hearing an aunt, also a mother. Especially if they used to tickle your baby a lot. And during this time, you're going to see a lot of activity around your baby um, with the tickling up the nose. Something about the nose. But some of y'all, it's also the neck. Your baby randomly laughs. Just know um, your ancestors are around. They want you to know that they're there in a loving way. Okay, So that you don't have to be afraid. Especially if you have type of mediumship abilities. Some of you all, there's going to be some type of balancing coming to a situation as well, especially when it involves, it involves family. For those of you who are um, going to be agreeing to separate it possibly with your spouse during this time, I definitely feel like you just need to speak your truth because for some of you all, the energy is extremely hectic. And whether you speak it or not, Saturn's going to come through like, and um, either you're going to speak the truth or the divine is going to intervene and truths will be spoken as well as clarity will be had in order for people to make movements forward, okay? And I definitely feel it's going to bring your life some type of balance because a lot of y'all are allowing other people's shit to take you off course. And I, and, I, and I just don't understand. How? Why would you allow someone else who is not going to stay there with you to fix the shit to help you fuck it up? Who does that? You guys got to be very, very, very stingy with your energy during this time. When you have Saturn energy, you have to be a Capricorn. Being very practical, being very lot, being very logical, being nurturing, but finding balance even in the nurturing. Do not allow people to be drained to you. There's a need for um, you guys to literally focus on the focus and remain balanced and find uh, find your centering during this time. Okay. Especially if you're dealing with any type of legalities or any type of uh, issues. For some reason, I'm also hearing. Um, Children also heard court documents. So some of you guys could be coming to some type of negotiation. Some of you guys could also be hearing or waiting to hear back from some type of negotiation or court. You are going to be hearing from some type, some type of negotiation court, you guys. For some of you all, the sign of Libra and the sign of Leo is extremely important. You could have Leo and Libra in your chart. But it's something about finding the balance within the me and the we in a, in a healthy, kind of like in a, how can I put it? And a healthy way as far as um moving into this energy of duality, okay? Not overdoing it, but at the same time, making sure that you are giving equally and you're receiving equally in your relationships. Okay, so let's bring me to the next message. You guys got courage from Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs, okay? So some of you all really want to focus on um, careers that could have to do with some type of energy healing, energy transferring. Some of you all, you could be into some type of aquatic science. Some of you guys are also um, studying um, different, like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing symbols. So some of you guys, you could be studying ancient artifacts. Some of you guys could also be studying different, um, I heard anthropology. Now, they don't have nothing to do with no... Um, Okay, and some of you all could also be going back to like, um, like Kemet, Kemet traditions, 
Some of you all are connected to the goddess Mayat. And if you've been seeing the, the, um, the feathers and the scales, there's a need for you to actually go to this place, place of solitude and really do your research because some of you all are channels for goddess and God, God and goddess energy. And there's a need for you all to be in this space of openness and receiving because for some of you all, it has to do with your life path. It also has to do with um, you being a spiritual teacher. Some of you all, there's a need for y'all to come Step into the spotlight, Scorpio. You guys have this mysterious energy, and there's a need for you guys to have it. It's something about the lacking of confidence, and you guys need to come out with it. I'm fine. I am. There, there's a need for you guys to definitely um, speak those positive affirmations into your life. Put out positive petitions. Make sure that you actually are speaking instead of chasing the bag. Become the bag. Envision that. Become the flow. Become the flow. Become one with it. Become one with what it is that you're trying to manifest, y'all. Cause you put it to So please excuse me. My words be fucked up. Okay. Understand, family. Follow me. Follow me. Context clues. Context clues. I remember back in the day, a witch and Macaulay could have been whatever. Okay. Some of y'all, there's a need for you guys to, um, again, not share your ideas with people during this time because it's something about the projection of energy from other people. Other people could be very negative. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling something about a mother figure. Some of y'all are really, um, some of you guys could be dealing with someone who triggers something when it comes to some type of issues with, with your mother. And I feel like this person is not triggering, triggering these feelings in a negative way. I feel like this person is trying to come in and make you see certain aspects of yourself, especially if you have some type of issues with your mother, to help you come to some type of resolution as well as help to, uh, help some type of um, closure or oh, true real forgiveness come to a situation. I'm hearing real forgiveness come to a situation because for some of you all, I feel like this is a conversation that's been had before, but either someone was nonchalant or someone was fake shit. Okay? Straight like that. Some of you all, some of y'all got a past life connection with someone, and I feel like there's a there there's this balancing of karma in this life. This person could be your life partner. Some of y'all have a telepathic connection with this person, and I, although I'm hearing, you know what to do. So although you or this other person could have been very expressive about what it is that you desire what it is that you um, expect there's a level of uh, there's a sense of lack someone has a lack mindset someone has already accepted defeat before they even put their damn foot in the water to see if the water was cold how the hell can you try and jump out there you manifested to jump out there and swim fear and manifestations fear prayer and worry they don't go together you gotta pick a side and that could be where the balance is found during this time okay the last message that you guys got is um, angel therapy. Focus also on the heart chakra. Some of you all who use crystals, um, there's a focus on it, and it's about receiving, receiving. Some of you, all, I'm feeling this energy of like a block. Like you guys don't even want me to read these damn cards because it's like hold up, because you know, I can't let the left hand know what the right hand doing because they might, you know what I'm saying, tell a big toe and shit. You know, shit might slip off on me. You know, I I, I don't know. Y'all know I'm goofy. Okay, I'm working with it. Horrible analogy. But damn it, shit, full of this allergy medicine. But what I will say, do not try to reprogram your subconscious um, to not have this victim mentality and have this sense of just rolling over and defeat. Because for some of you all, I'm feeling that either your friends, your family members, this could also be um, people who you were in love with. It's something about... Maybe in the past people didn't believe in you or didn't believe in your dream. They kind of made you believe um, that yourself, that maybe you weren't good enough or maybe you weren't worthy enough to move towards what it is that you dream about doing or you weren't worthy enough to have something because other people dream and, 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 and think and live small way to fuck down here. You're really needing to ascend and rise above the noise during this time. Some of y'all gonna have some type of archangel, um, archangel, some type of earth angel encounter, and I feel like this has to do with, um, for some of y'all it's having to do with your finances, or some type of um, resources, or some type of collaboration just falling into your lap. Like maybe you have the vision and you have the ambition towards your goal. You know what it is that you want to do, but maybe you um, 
or lacking confidence because you don't have the finances. And so it's, it's, it's a sense of a balancing act. Like someone who has the finances, they just don't have the vision. You guys um, balance one another out. And I do see it being abundant, okay? So right now, this is a time of strategics, planning, selfishness with the damn energy, self-care, restoration, um, regeneration, and definitely reflection. Reflection. So that you can see any type of revision that needs to come toward, any type of revision that needs to go towards um, your plan going forward, okay? So your last message is uh, angel therapy, Archangel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Okay? Scorpio, during this time, you guys are going to have to balance your fucks. Okay? I don't give a damn if six people called you before lunchtime. Balance your, trust yourself. Because see, a lot of y'all, y'all be knowing shit. When I say y'all be knowing shit, y'all be, people be sleep on oh, Scorpio. Because y'all are the king and queens of know it all and say less. You get what I'm saying? Listen more, say less. Um, it was a Scorpio who first told me, well, you got damn two ears and one mouth for a reason. That should tell you something. And I want to cuss. I'm not thinking no why I did cuss his ass out. But I never forget him telling me that I'm sharing with you. Because it was very resourceful for me moving forward on my path. I done been stabbed by a lot of people who told me that, but that's crazy. Same people who laughed at me if I wanted to start. Are you going to do what on what, bitch? And now you want to sit in my section. You want to you wanna hang with me and shit. I don't got to be ugly. You don't got to be ugly to these people. You got to set your boundaries not for them, but for you. Yes, I can't change who you are. Some of y'all have to accept people. You're just selfish. You know they damn selfish. How long you been friends with their ass? How long has been your cousin? How long has been your mama, auntie? Uh, uh, come on now. Accept that because you're only stressing you out trying to change somebody who's not going to shift, not a damn, they're not going to squish their damn big toe over to make you comfortable. So you cannot control other people, but only what it is that you allow in your energy and what it is that you allow them other people to do. People do what you allow them to do. So this is going to be a time of say less and act more. I will show you better than I can tell you. Because if you've already set your boundaries with people, you, you got to come to this place where I'm not going to keep saying the same shit over and over. Who the fuck pay, who pays me to repeat myself all day? Because for some of y'all, if it was an occupation for what I'm feeling, y'all would be some rich bitches. <laughs> I'm rich, bitch. Y'all being here like rich dame. Fuck your couch, fuck your couch. Okay, straight like that. Okay, so Scorpio, I'm gonna take that one because it's gonna get chunk, chunk, get way off the table. I ain't even get to ask the questions. So I'm gonna take it. I ain't gonna flip it over yet. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna keep that one right here. I want to see what it is. My spirit. What messages do I have? Oh, my beautiful Scorpions in love for the month of May. What can they expect to learn? What messages do you have? A beautiful scorpion, someone rather than you have to cross watch and learn. First card, healing, okay? For some of you guys, I heard family again. For some of you guys could be healing the situation possibly with the mother or father of your child, okay? This person could be a Libra, um, Pisces, Virgo, Aries, Taurus. I definitely feel like for some of you all, some of you all, this person could have been holding on. Some of y'all, this person... This person is very passionate about you, but I feel like this person has a lot of pride. This person is very loving. They're very fun. I feel like this is not a dull person, whomever, whomever I'm speaking about. For some of y'all, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like for some of you all, either you or another person has chosen to release something that they were trying to build on, okay? For some of you all, um, some of y'all, this could also be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone's losing the passion, and it could also be someone is wanting to move forward and wanting to heal the relationship and build with someone, but there's a sense of instability. Someone feels as if they don't have enough. There's this lack mindset. There you go. Some of you all, some of, yeah, some of you guys, it could be either you could be communicating or could be receiving some type of communication. 
Some of you all could um hmm. some of y'all could also be releasing a job and moving towards something that you're passionate about. Something that actually because I'm gonna tell you something. When you go into a damn job every day, baby, and it begins to become a paycheck, and the only thing you see it as is a paycheck, you get up, you get up with the wrong damn energy. Yeah, you may thank the creator, but you still get up in the energy of it's not for me. Do you know how uncomfortable it is to live somebody else's truth? And I feel that this is where Scorpio is right now. I don't gotta say no more. Ninety percent of y'all are very empathic. Some of you are also maybe hearing um some of you guys could be hearing news about a child, possibly um or there could be hmm. For some of y'all, somebody you could be watching someone else's social media or they could be watching yours. Somebody could find out that someone has a child by like via like someone tagging someone else. This person could be younger than you who is getting tagged or doing the tagging, okay? This person could be an Aries. This could be you as a person who's seeing it or the person who posted it. But I see Aries, Capricorn, Libra, Cancer. There is someone was trying to hold on to some type of truth to control a particular situation involving juggling, okay? For some of y'all, you could have been juggling a fire sign, Aries, as well as an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay? Or this could have been being done to you. I feel like for some of you all, there was a situation or there's a situation where someone either communicates very childishly. It's like you want to hold on to this union, but it's like this person is not willing to grow. Some of you all, you need to accept the fact that you've outgrown the person. And this has to do with your transformation in the past life. Some of y'all had an issue with letting go. But some of y'all, it's about transforming a, transforming a relationship that was once toxic, okay? Or transforming pretty much someone releasing a toxic situation and actually moving into some form of transformation in the month, okay? So there's a need for you guys to not try to control the towers because I definitely feel like some of you guys have been trying to avoid some type of tower moment when it comes to dealing with, an, dealing with a relationship, okay? Some of y'all are needing to make a decision or you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's needed to make a decision possibly between yourself and the fire sign, uh, yourself and another fire sign, um, as well as the mother and father of your children, okay? But for some of y'all, there's some type of communication. This could even be the intention of an outsider because for some of you all, someone's trying to maintain some type of, some of y'all have a new relationship. You could have a new relationship with the fire sign. I feel like this person is having to walk away from a toxic situation that involves some type of family. I feel like this person is initially going moving forward with the intention of trying to bring peace and restoration or bring some type of, um, some type of resolution or some type of rebirth to a situation. And for some of you all, this involves dating. But for some of you all, it just involves healthy co-parenting and some type of healthy relationship with the mother or father of your children. And I definitely feel like someone is having a hard time releasing things that was done in the past. Maybe for some of y'all, this person could, I'm hearing this person could have stolen some money from you. Okay? And for some of you all, you could have loaned this person some money. Maybe this person didn't pay you back. But then you find out that you could have also, not only did this person steal some money, but they were juggling you and another person. And I feel like for some of y'all, this person could have gotten another person pregnant or could have gotten pregnant by another person. And that situation is extremely toxic because for some of y'all, um, there's like a questioning of a paternity situation that's going on. That could have to do with the court system as well. So for those of you who have been having someone come at you very malice-like, um, especially when it involves money and your children, like someone being spiteful and maybe not letting the partner, your, your partner, or um, see the children because someone has moved on to a new love, because I'm also seeing that there's a need for you to allow the towers to fall, but in a peaceful way. Say less. Do more. You need to do... do um, needing to um, do your research. For those of you who have been trying to or who've been waiting to hear about some type of acceptance when it comes to your school or some type of loan or um, grant, you are going to hear that. It's something about the third week of May. Okay, so this is going to move into mid-month May for some of you all. Some of you guys, um, yeah, some of you guys may experience some type of um, shake up for some of y'all this tower doesn't even have anything to do with you some of you all are dealing with someone um who you could have cut ties with you set your boundaries i feel like you and this person have a lot of love and a lot of passion but before there can be growth and some type of healthy foundations to be built 
it's like some type of structure that needs to fall first, okay? So for some of y'all I'm hearing you um, who who this is for. Some of y'all got a Scorpio rising, I heard. This could be for someone who has a Scorpio rising. Some of y'all are having to release a situation where you feel that you feel the need to hold on to it because it made you feel financially stable, but it's extremely toxic. Maybe this per because some of y'all this person I'm hearing drinks. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn to a Virgo, uh, specifically Capricorn as well as Virgo, who drinks too damn much. This person, you 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 are sending and you're evolving and you're moving into, um, you're trying to attain spiritual abundance. You're trying to attain prosperity. You're focusing on legacies and this person is focusing on some damn 42 11s. Okay? Them and Bush is best friends. Budweiser is the homie. Jen, make the ass see. Okay? And you're having to make a choice to either uh deal with the relationship or walk away. So we don't care about some of these things are kind of. Okay, one second. Okay, why is the tower here for Scorpio? Yeah. For some of you all, there's some type of tower moment that you could be experiencing possibly with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be the mother or father of your children, okay? But you needed to make a judgment call because for some of you all, I'm hearing that this relationship could have been unhealthy. For some of you all, this could be six years, six months. For some of y'all, you could have been knowing this person. Um, Hold on. Some of y'all, this could have been, yeah, some, I'm hearing six years, strongly. But for you, some of y'all, this could be six months. Some of y'all, this could be 15 years, okay? For some of y'all, this could also be four years, four months. I feel like someone, um, someone got real ho-ass energy. And when I say ho-ass energy, I mean, they gonna go with the highest dollar flow. I feel like this person, someone has a sense of they're not loyal. I mean, I feel that they want what they want. But they don't want to give anything. And then when they do give, it's their minimal. And when it's acknowledged, someone else is pointing the finger. Or it's a whole damn tip for tech game where ain't no damn acknowledgement. It's just, okay, I see how you moving. Oh, okay, you out here you out here busting it open. Okay. <laughs> That's how we doing. Mm -hmm. Well look here, go go do what you're doing. I'm gonna focus on my money. But now you're gonna have to find me while though, because I can't let the left hand know what's the right one doing. Some of you all are saving money and putting money up um aside without telling anyone. Some of you all are planning a move, especially if you live with your partner and you send some type of infidelity. Maybe that's why you wanted to speak it out because you know you're living with this person, you have some type of um legal obligation. But for some of you all you gonna make the judgment call to allow this person to go spread their damn royal oats elsewhere, especially if you have a family with this person. Some of you guys are just choosing to be happy. I'm done. I surrender. I'm choosing to be happy. Some of you guys were possibly in a situation where you were you were another person was juggling. For some of y'all, I feel like some of y'all could have been juggling the situation, possibly with a water sign or two water signs or a water sign and an earth sign. Some of y'all it was water and fire. Some of y'all it was earth and fire. Why is the queen of wands here? Yeah. For some of you all, you're very uh you moving forward passionately possibly towards um cancer, okay? You're making a decision to choose happiness. And for some of y'all you're just making a decision to move forward. Making faith moves. Fuck fuck worrying about what might happen. I know what could happen if I say here yeah, I'm gonna end up in jail. That's what's gonna happen. Scorpio, some of you guys could find out if you're dealing with an earth sign, this person could have been juggling you and possibly a cancer. And I, this person wants to come in during this time and heal the situation, which it looks like. Okay, for some of y'all, this could also be Gemini Libra Aquarius moving forward towards the healing situation. I feel like this person, this person is expecting defensiveness from you because for some of y'all, this person don't even know how to deal with you without a fight. I feel for some of you all, you kind of. Then all that you can do as far as communicating with somebody. And you're just gonna have to focus on working on yourself because it's a one way, it's a it's a one sided street as far as someone giving a damn about the bigger picture. You have to accept that. Okay? For some of you all, you're gonna drop the defenses or you're gonna drop your butt. For those of you who are dealing with a fire sign, some of y'all want to work on a toxic situation uh, to work on a toxic toxic or a situation that was once turbulent with someone from your past could possibly be a fire sign. Everything else has just could be someone who you could have left out in the cold or maybe you feel you want to express your love to this person but there's this fear of rejection or this fear of this person being defensive towards you wanting to put the work in. So I do see some someone that's gonna reach out. 
So if you see this again, you reach out. Some of you guys could also be hearing some type of getting some type of communication regarding the legal case, or possibly hearing some type of um hearing some type of information. Yeah, you're hearing legal case for some of y'all. Some of you guys are going to um some type of judgment over a legal case is going to release you from a situation. So this could be a divorce. This could also be I'm hearing paternity. Okay, uh, for some of you all, there's a there there's going to be an uncomfortable tower. That is going to move you towards so much more peaceful times. Some of you guys are going through a transformation and you choosing to walk away is going to bring you good karma. Justice is definitely going to be in your favor. Some of you guys are going to be receiving some type of communication from someone you could have walked away from. This person could be someone who you could have wanted to have some type of, um, some of y'all are moving into engagement, into higher depths of uh, of um, a relationship. Some of you guys are going to be getting engaged in this time. Some of you guys may decide to go to the damn courthouse and get married. Somebody say, I don't want to lose you no more. You walked away from me before. I don't want you to walk away from me no more. You belong to me. I'm going to get my shit together, Scorpio. Okay? For some of you all, yeah, some of y'all are going to walk away from someone who you could have thought was the mother or father of your child. And some of you guys, this could also be moving away from struggling issues, how things was once in the past. This could be for whomever is choosing to release uh, past judgments and see a situation from uh, from an angle of growth and acceptance and appreciation because they understand it was the catalyst to their damn growth and truly heal in order to truly heal. So there has to be a tower or some type of conversation that's going to be a bit turbulent before things can move into a positive space for those of you with the situation is positive. Some of y'all moving the fuck away from somebody because they have a hard time walking away completely from their past, especially if it's attached to um, a situation involving a child's mother and father, okay? Some of y'all who are waiting on to, to wait to hear from a job, you're waiting to leave another job to move to another one third week of May. For some of you all, the second week of May. And for some of you all, you're juggling, you're kind of juggling to make a decision as far as going towards someone to heal the situation again. It's just like, I feel like you've done this before. This could also involve an Aries person. I feel like for some of you all, you see this person as being very beautiful, very handsome. This person has it all. For some of y'all, this is a tourist. But I definitely feel like you're afraid that this person is going to cut you with the sword. Or Scorpio, this person is afraid that they're gonna cut that you're gonna cut them with the sword. Because I definitely feel like someone trying to control the situation. It was too. This could be a female and a male, but two dominant aspects of. It's like an element of power, and someone being addicted to either being in control, another being addicted to either chaos, another one have a fear of rejection. Like I definitely feel like this is a cycle. That you want to move forward. Some of you guys want to move forward. You want to travel to go see the damn emperor. The emperor's coming to see you. So I definitely feel like some of you guys, you could be resistant to uh, the dreams and synchronicity that some of y'all could be getting regarding this path. Some of y'all just could be the father of your children. Either you or, you or this other person is being resistant to things moving forward during this time. Because there needs to be boundaries that set. There needs to be boundaries that set. Some of you guys are cutting this shit off. Or this other person is cutting it off. I definitely feel like things could move forward, but there needs to be a sense of compromise, a sense of balance for some for some of you all forgiveness and conversations. Conversations where you feel some of y'all gotta cut off a damn virgo in order to get to your damn emperor. Okay? But some of you all there needs to be conversations that are that are to have. That well, there are conversations that are going to be had that allow you to truly reflect on how things have gone in the past and what it is that you could do to shift things to go in your favor as far as things working out that's going to bring you fulfillment. Some of y'all is chopping the fucking Virgo's head off. You just don't want the Virgo. And it, you could, it could be after receiving some type of information that could have confirmed a third party situation, especially if it involved the air sign. Or some of you guys, um, yeah. Some of y'all are communicating are going to be, somebody is, some of y'all got somebody demanding to get the truth, I feel, regarding a third party situation in order for things to move forward. We ain't doing shit. We ain't talking about shit until we talk about the truth. What happened? I want clarity. I don't want to move away from this shit feeling as if I have to be defensive. Are we going to end this or not? You going to fix it or not? You going to get right or get left? Period. Okay? So, you guys, I do see you guys going into a whole new cycle. You guys will make a decision to, you know, go into a new cycle. I definitely feel like this will fall the damn up for. 
Okay, so I'm causing a void because someone is going to feel rejected, but I definitely feel like you're going to have to make decisions that are best for you during this time and allow people to go through the same transformation in the same growth period that you um that you experienced and that you're still experienced experiencing because it's a journey. But some of you all have to make some type of um, sacrificial gain. Um, well, sacrificial cut in order to have see the gain for it. And I feel like this cut, it's not going to benefit you in a negative way. Well, it's not going to affect you in a negative way, but it's going to benefit you in a positive way. Because not only is it going to bring you balance, but it's going to make room for peace and harmony and true life healing. So that you guys can reflect and truly see even deeper than what that person did, how that person made you feel, but how is that person a reflection and an aspect of yourself? Because we are what we attract, which is why you are growing your situations, your circumstances, your jobs, and anything that doesn't make you feel at peace with yourself. Your truth. What is it, Scorpio? That is the question for the month of May. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys in love, um, as well as for really for the month of May, you guys. I love you all. If you need a personal reading, you guys, just hit me up, and I'm going to try and get these videos out as fast as I can before this I get wicked, 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 wicked. Okay, so I love you all. Peace, blessings, namaste, and I will see you guys for me in May. Bye, y'all.